100 and the h equal to 21 feet, your value will be 2,400 pound per square feet. But I'm not looking for vertical pressure. I'm looking for lateral pressure. Anybody remember what is the value of lateral pressure in soil? Equal your vertical pressure time k. Vertical pressure time k. You are talking about this side. Do you think this side is active or passive? It's active. So k active, k active. So your k active equal one minus sine 30 divided by one plus sine 30. I think 0.33. Yep. K passive, one plus sine 30, one minus sine 30 equal three. So your value here equal 300 times 0.33, you have 100. Uh, your value here, 2400 times 0.33, 800. 800. So your value here is 800 bound per square feet for every unit width, and your value here is 100 bound per square feet for every unit weight. Here is your distribution. If you don't have surcharge, I agree with you, your pressure at this point will be zero. Because we don't have any vertical pressure at this point. On the other side, what is the value of passive earth pressure at this point and this point? Do you have any surcharge at this location? No. Your stress here will be zero. Your stress okay. here will be uh, gamma H times K passive. K passive three, gamma 100, this H six. So your value will be 1800. Bound per square feet for, e for every unit width. So right now, I'm done with the lateral pressure. Go ahead and figure out the vertical load. Yeah? For this part of soil, this part of soil has a weight on this part of the footing. So how much this weight? Your weight, gamma, just a reminder, gamma equal weight, divide volume. If you are looking for weight, you have to multiply gamma by volume. We have gamma, 100. What is the volume for this part of soil? What's this length? Six. Six. Time? 19, that's right. The total height is 21. Subtract two, so the height would be 19. Time one feet the unit width of uh, direction perpendicular to the core. So I can figure out what is the value. 11,400. 11,400 pounds. For this part of footing, we have weight. How much? This volume, 10 times two times one times 150. Anybody remember what is the value of 150? What does it mean? Gamma concrete. Yep, gamma concrete. And this value is your volume multiplied by one. So your value will be something like uh, 3,000 pound. This part of soil has a weight equal gamma soil 100 times this volume 2 times uh, 4 times 1, something around 800 pounds. 
We still have one part. Which part? Needle. This one. What do you think about this part? Hmm? I have issue with this part. This part, something looks like this. One feet, two feet. What's the problem? The problem is your weight equal gamma fine volume. What is the value of gamma? 150, it's concrete. What is the value of volume? Volume equal this area times one meter the unit width. That's right? Perfect. Your area will be two plus one by two times this height is 19. So I can get my W. What's the problem? Anybody know where is this width? Centroid. No? Yeah, at the centroid. Where is the centroid? You have the it's a trapezoid. A composite. So I cannot figure out where is the centroid of the trapezoid. Yeah. If it's rectangle, I can say my weight at the middle. If it's triangle, I can say at distance one third of the base. That's right. But it's trapezoidal. I cannot figure out where is the centroid. So the best scenario for this part to divide it to two parts. This part, which is rectangle, I can figure out what is the weight of this part. One times 19 times 150. Add the middle. And we have another triangle with weight. This weight will be one half times this distance, one meter, times this distance, 19, times 150. So we have W1, we have W2, two parts. Why? Because I'm looking for where is the centroid of this part, so I can't figure out the centroid. If you don't have time, go ahead and calculate it as one uh, weight at the middle. That's all. It will not be, make big difference. <coughs> Question. Yeah. When you calculate the weight of the soil, what is it right there? A hundred times two times four times what? One. All the time, your weight must equal gamma time volume. Volume, I cannot say this area is a volume. Two times four. 2 times 4 is not a volume, 2 times 4 is area. But uh, this soil extended on the other direction for long distance, but I don't know what is that distance is. So I will assume I have unit width equal 1 feet. So if you multiply 2 times 4 times 1, you are talking about volume. This volume multiplied by gamma. Okay, so sometimes I missed one, but this one, six times 19, it should be time one. Because six, this distance. 19, this distance. Where is the one? The other direction. You got it? So I forget to put one, but in my mind. Okay. Then go ahead and make a check of overturn like we did last time. At this toe, what is the ratio between summation moment of resistance divided by summation moment of overturning? The only force will cause overturning the lateral active pressure. The same issue here also. Your lateral pressure looks like trapezoidal. Something like this. This value, how much? The top value, 100. And this one, 800. I'm looking to convert this pressure to one force. How? Do you know? It's trapezoidal. Yeah, I can figure out what is the area of this trapezoidal. It's 100 plus 800 divided 2 times this height. That's fine. But uh, where is this force? At the middle? Mm. 
at one third, two third, I don't know. Because I don't know where is the uh, centroid of the trapezoidal. So the best scenario, if you have any trapezoidal for any weight, pressure, anything, go ahead and divide your pressure. Two, one rectangle with lateral force at mid height, which equal 21 divided by 2, 21 feet, and your value will be 100, the area of this rectangle, 100 times 21. So your value will be 2100 pounds. The second part, this little triangle. Your force for this little triangle will be here. Where? At one third of the total height. How much is this force? Area of this little triangle. One half times this height, which is 700, times the total height, 21. About. This one is important. This one is important. One more time. One more time. Your pressure looks like trapezoid. Last time, if you remember, our problem was the lateral pressure was triangle. So, in one step, in one calculation, I can say, hey, this lateral or this active pressure, I can convert it to F, one force, equal this area. At this distance, which is one third of this height. But for this shape, I can say, hey, this shape can be converted to a force. How much? This area. But where? I don't know. I don't know where is the centroid of the trapezoid. So go ahead and divide this trapezoid to two parts. For one reason, I cannot figure out where is the force. So. If you divide it to a rectangle, <coughs> I can see my force at mid height, one half h. And triangle, your force will be at one third of h. And your value of force is the area of the shape. Okay? Any other force will be resisting moment, force time distance, force time distance, force time distance, I can make a check and I hope your factor of safety will be greater than 1 and something in between 1.5 and 2. Second check, again it's the sliding. Your factor of safety again it is slightly equal. Summation forces of summation of resisting force divided by summation of sliding force. The only force will make sliding this one and this one, which are the forces due to this pressure. The resisting force will be this passive force and this friction force. Anybody know what is the value of this friction? Mu, mu should be given. Something like 0.2 or 0.4. Mu times N. Anybody know what is the value of N? What is the value of N? Yeah, okay. Can you count them? This force? Yes. Plus this force? Yes. Plus this force? Yes. Plus this force? Yes, anything else? No, we have. I forget. This surcharge, we have equivalent force as a vertical force for 300 times this distance. You, you have to figure it out.
který já nevím, ten co je. Friday exam, only two problems. <coughs> Problem number one, you have a column given with dimension 20 times 10 inch, bearing capacity of the soil given, and go ahead and design isolated food. So at the end, you have to figure out what are the dimension of the footing, L, B, and thickness. How much steel reinforcement in both direction, or at least one direction, and then go ahead and make check. We have two type of check, uh, one way, Shear, two-way shear. So three parts you have to do in your design. It's complete design for isolated food. Second problem, retaining wall. Dimensions may be given or dimension you need to figure it out based on uh, our assumption. Then, go ahead and make your uh, stability check. That's it. Stability check. Stability against sliding, and stability against overturn. Our exam will be at 9 a.m., just for one hour. 30 minutes for 